I'm Mike McGee, I'm the gallery director for the university and founder of the Grand Central Water Center. Don Cribb, who's an activist in the community, was originally his idea. He brought me out here and showed me this building, which was not in good shape, and I thought uh, he was a little bit crazy at the time. And the idea was that we would create an anchor for the artist village and have something that would generate energy, bring people down here. I'm a professor, full professor for the university in the design area. I have a graduate program in exhibition design and museum studies, and I teach graduate students to work in museums and galleries. I get to organize exhibitions, and when you do that, it's like you get to walk in somebody's shoes for a while. That's why one of the reasons I'm so excited about having the opportunity to share that with people and try and bring you know, more and more people here to the Art Center and more and more people into Santa Ana to have the opportunity to themselves. I think Santa Ana has really set itself up to kind of be the heart and soul of uh, Orange County and also to bring, uh, be, a, be a center for creativity. I mean, you know, the kind of developer utopia, really sterile environment that is a lot of Orange County Artists really don't feel comfortable in that environment and, and, and Santa Ana really offers an alternative to that. It has that kind of grit to it, it has a great uh, cultural mix, uh, it has a great set of old historical buildings which add red character to, to the community. So I really think that, Orange County, that Santa Ana is in a position to really become the cultural and artistic center for, for the county. We were, you know, very fortunate to be one of, I think, 20 universities around the country that were selected by the Warhol Foundation to give out uh, this gift as part of their 20th anniversary. They chose 20 uh, institutions and they gave each of these institutions 155 photographs from the, you know, thousands that Warhol took. It really gives you an insight into his personality, I think, especially if you look at some of those snapshots as to what he would take a photograph of, of a, of a woman nursing her child or, or of a dog and just, you know, really kind of quirky things that really shows a kind of quirkier side to his uh, personality. Well, one of the things with Warhol was as I was looking at the Polaroids and the different types of shots, of course, you know, we're looking at like the 1970s through the early 80s. And so the colorations and the, and the time period, the fashion at the time, I started looking at how that kind of transcended and how I wanted to that, you know, have that kind of feeling in, in the gallery. I started using colors out of the actual Polaroids. I used a lot of the greens and, and the orange tones that came out of that. Um, the peachy color kind of mimics the, the sort of skin tone of the, you know, the older Polaroids. Andrea and I kind of decided to go with the, the large mural, have the space really kind of simple. Little graphic treatments on the side, so I think the public's going to have a, a really fun time checking out the works. He really was a very driven and very prolific artist, and uh, we're glad to be able to show people a little glimpse into the inside of that. Shame.